Alex, May Mayor, Mike, Ryan. Here is a gun of This is your Ryan. Nice. Good morning, welcome to my channel. This is Rod Magaru. I'm up early because we are going to Pico Sands Hotel. Yeah, medyo ready na maleta. I'll be with Mike soon. Alex Dyson and Ryan San Juan. Um, mukhang tulog pa sila kasi still, ano oras ba? 6 o'clock. Uh, yeah, I'm excited to visit Pico Sands Hotel because this is my first time. So, we'll see. Let's go! Actually, ang dali lang makarating sa Pico Sands Hotel. If you're coming from Metro Manila, either you straight to the visit Tagaytay Road, going to Nasugbu. That's roughly less than 3 hours. Or via Cavitex and then Ternate Cavite route about 2 hours. Uy, namiss ko tong kay Biyang Tunnel ha, dito sa Ternate Cavite. And there you go. We are approaching the Hamilo Coast in Nasugbu. Actually, first time ko dito sa Pico Sands Hotel. Even to the entire Pico de Loro Cove itself. Ang welcome sa amin, a polite and standard safety procedure. Wow, access to the Pico de Loro Beach Club sounds wonderful to us. And saktong sakto yung dating namin kasi pagdating namin, lunch na. Nako, medyo napalaban agad with salmon and kare-kare. Oh, no! Ito na ang mga ngiti ng tagumpay. After our late lunch, we headed straight to our room. And I'm glad that their elevators are equipped with motion sensor. You don't need to pin dot. Safety check. Okay, here we go. It's time to tour you to our room. Similar to other hotels, you can choose your accommodation according to your needs. In Pico Sands, they have Standard, Superior, Deluxe, Premier, Corner Deluxe, and Penthouse Lux. And guys, malaki ang 37 square meter room ha, with a 7 square meter balcony pa. Ang kagandahan kay Pico Sands Hotel, you can choose either a lagoon view or a mountain view. As every room is disinfected, they also have the hygiene kit. The hygiene kit it contains face mask and alcohol spray. This time, we have the lagoon view. Of course, hindi namin pinalagpas ni Alex ang balcony shots. After settling in, nakapag-visit na kami sa amenities ng hotel. They have three big pools overlooking the lagoon. Inside naman, you can enjoy a wide range of activities offered by Pico de Loro Beach and Country Club. They have kids area, bowling lanes, billiards and KTV, and also the Lagoa restaurant. Here at Pico de Loro, meron din silang super luwag na gym. And if you're really into indoors, they also have the full-size basketball court as well as tennis, badminton, and squash courts. Grabe, sobrang impressive. Ang dami talagang pwedeng gawin. Hi guys, good afternoon. We are touring the uh, Pico de Loro properties. In fact, we're going to the beach now. And I'm with Alex. Alex, 
Where are we going? Sa beach, no? Beach, yes. By the sunset. Sunset na, yeah. But before kami pumunta ng sunset, binisita muna namin ang St. Therese Chapel of the Child Jesus. From this higher area ng chapel, actually makikita mo na yung kagandahan ng beach at sunset. Pero syempre, hindi namin papalampasin ang ma-experience ang beach itself. Welcome to the Pico de Loro Beach! You can actually make the most of your beach getaway dito sa Pico de Loro with numerous motorized and non-motorized water activities. Subject to availability, pwede kang mag-rent ng paddle boards, pwede kang mag-jet ski, or even go on a thrilling towable ride with the group. So kung naghahanap ka talaga ng most possible and feasible road trips outside Metro Manila, Pico de Loro and Pico Sans Hotel is the best place to go. Guys, sunset. Buti naman. Alex. May may iro. May iro. Mike. Ryan. Zap. May aro pa rin. Pero hindi na siya ganun kainin. This is your Ryan. So we're having San Ryan here. Cheers guys. Thank you Pico de Loro. Ito yung literally sobrang chill lang na araw. At night, you can enjoy this cozy view while having dinner with friends. Dito sa Pico Bar and Restaurant, sobrang daming options. And here are the choices that we had that night. Guys, we are having breakfast here at Kiko Bar and Restaurant. So I'm having longganisa later. Morning, Mike. What's up, girl? Hey, Alex. Set up it. Our second day is actually dedicated for outdoor adventures, and since napakadaming pweding go in while staying here at Pico Sans Hotel. Siyempre, we tried to climb the San Telmo Trail. First time ko mag-trek actually. Please watch my first trekking experience on a separate vlog. After that, lunch at Lagoa. Right after this lunchtime, we visited the mangroves and we had our first mangrove tour at Pico Sands, which is also part of my San Telmo Trail vlog. Ayan guys, so there is a shuttle kung gusto mong pumunta sa beach club o kaya sa country club o kaya sa hotel. Kaya I'm enjoying my stay here at Pico Sands Hotel. Ayan, going to the beach kasi nandun na si Lamay, si Alex, saka si Ryan. See you guys later! So as I have mentioned earlier, if you stay here at Pico Sands Hotel, you also have an access to the beach club.
grabe sobrang instagramable ng view Guys, overall, I can say na our stay was indeed the best yet since lockdown. This is literally the unwind that we need. Chill lang with indoors, visit the beach any time of the day, sleep, and watch the sunset. Pico Sands Hotel made sure na napapalo lahat ng safety protocols and I'm recommending at least two nights ha, para ma-explore nyo pa yung iba pang activities. Well, of course, subject to availabilities. So there you go. I hope you guys enjoy this tour. And as of this day, Pico Sans Hotel is now ready for you. Till my next vlog! Guys, habulin ng bibi. Brian, sa nuwa. Dito, meron kasi nabibihin ng pagkain sa kamilin.